What's up, everybody? Welcome. It's your boy, 4M Comics, coming at you with the Heroes After Dark crew. You're in for another epic episode of Season 1, Episode 5 of our cover battles. Coming up today, we got a classic battle between two of the best, two of the greatest in the Heroes After Dark crew. Now, before we get started, it smash that subscribe button. That's what we need you to do. That's what we ask you to do. That's what we appreciate from you. Thank you guys. Now, to get us started, let's go ahead and bring out the challengers for today. We got the Neil Hunter going against Miller. All right, guys, we have Real Deal versus Neil Hunter. We're going to start off with the villains cover. Let's see those covers, guys. Mm. All right. Miller, take it away, brother. All right, so my villain cover. I know you could only see a little bit of it, but let me show you how it actually came. Green Lantern, Sinister, Lafferty's, Atrocitus, Star Sapphire. It is one cover. That's my cover. Green Lantern, Homage, DC. One, it is one cover, technically. Right, right, right? <laughs> we, we've seen this episode it? before. <laughs> but, yeah, that's my cover. Cool. Green Lantern, Homage. That, that's your that's your villains right there, huh? All right. <clears throat> Wooly, let's take a look at your villain cover, brother. Daredevil 38, Ooh. Eugene Conlon. What's unique about this is that our dear friend Matt Murdock, the street level hero Daredevil, is actually Doctor in Doctor Doom's body. He's trapped. Just like it was a trap when you pulled that cover out. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on real quick. I'm gonna show the covers real quick, just one more time. And then we'll go ahead and go over to the judges. Um, and, uh, you know, we have a special guest with us tonight. We have the comic lore himself. He will be uh, judge number one. So what say you, brother? What do you think? Hey, Miller, if you open one of those books, is all three covers in, in one single book? Or do you have to buy all three books in order to get, get that full all, cover? You got to get all three to connect. The cover. Gotcha. All right. I'm going to vote for Doom. Let's versus the the three covers i think you're cheating so i'm, <laughs> I'm trying anything tonight i'm trying anything <laughs> all right brad what do you say brother um straight just off villain covers uh that doom daredevil is definitely fire that's gonna be my pick i do love the connected covers um but the doom is just easy for the eye one cover and um it's the face shot falls of doom so i'm gonna go with the doom cover there all right red what do you got bro so i'm not a fan of any of them but if i was to pick one i would have to pick doom oh mm. yeah just because i'm a big daredevil fan and, and i love daredevil Ooh, Ooh, five Yep. And that yeah. green, mostly green cover too, man. Mostly green. Mostly. Yeah, Eugene Conlon, you, you can't deny the greatness. All right, well, well, my my vote is really not necessary at this point, but I'm gonna give it anyway. Uh, it, I gotta go for the doom. The shenanigans on the on, on the on the on the, <laughs> the connected covers just ain't gonna hit. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying something new. That's not yeah. kiss level shenanigans, <laughs> but. Yeah. It's a <laughs> it's I was hoping you would actually just pull the book and it would open into three into the big cover. No, wow. that's like a fold yeah, out, a fold out cover, right? Like a fold out. Oh, like yeah. a old, the the OG the the X Men one, the Jim Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the trifle. We did that already, so. The e. All right, so we went through that one. Um, Mike, take yeah. us away to the next round. Well, guys, everybody just saw what happened and what went down, so guys let's go to the next round the next round is the team cover show us what you got show us your best 
All right. Okay. Let's go. Miller. All right, team. I love this cover. Sinister Six. You know, enough said. Pop Goblin, Electro, Mysterio. Everyone's on this cover. It's a villain team cover. Something a little different. But you got to love Eric Larson's cover on this book. Sinister Six, ASM. Let's go. Let's get that vote. What do you got, Willie? (laughs) Arthur Adams, Fantastic Four. The new team. Ghost Rider. Our old favorite, Wolverine. Spidey. And Grey Hulk. You cannot go wrong with this, gentlemen. This... I mean, I love the Sinister Six. I love Eric Larson, but art does art. Yeah. Oh, look at that. All right, all right. <clears throat> so let's look at those covers one more time. We have a uh, a villain team up or a team versus a uh, hero team. So, all right. Comic Lord, what do you got, man? What do you so say? Just judging on the cover, not the inside of the book, right? Yes, sir. Correct. Yes. Yeah, well... Miller, I love the Sinister Six, dude, but our Adams is, I don't know, dude. I got, I got to go with Woodley in this one. All right, that's one. Even though Brad. the inside of the book sucks, but that covers well. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> the, the Larson book is better as a read. Yeah. Um, I got to get a vote to Miller here. I love the cover. I love the Sinister Six. And I know Nilf Hunter loves it because I was with him when he found a few of them. <laughs> so I got to give it to Miller, man. Um, I love that Sinister Six cover um, with Spidey, you know, looking like he's about to be uh, attacked. So I got Miller here with the Sinister Six cover. Cool, cool. All right, Red, what do you say, man? Yeah, uh, the ridiculousness of that uh, Sinister Six cover uh, got it for me. Um, I didn't realize Spider-Man was on it, and I was thinking, you know, what what had happened for that photo? You know, I, I imagined them all getting together for that photo, and you know, all the craziness that would have happened. But uh, then I saw Spider-Man on there. I'm, I'm gonna have to go with that one. Mm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Not an easy one. Um... I don't like either cover. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> um, uh, let me take a look at that real quick one more time. Um, yes, it was Mysterio, Doc Ock. <laughs> you know what, man? I got to give it to the real deal on that one, man. No lie. He sold you. No lie. <laughs> it, 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 you know what? No, it's it's just, it's it's a more menacing cover. I just, I, yeah. I like it. It looks like more intense. The other one is just, you know, four heroes hanging out. And here you can actually see the villains, the team up there about to do work. So um, I like that cover better. So I'm going to give it to Miller. Now let's, let's, can I say something else here? Because go, bring those, those those covers back. Bring those covers back. Yeah. So the Fantastic Fourteen, any one of those guys can beat all six of the other guys. Just saying. (laughs) 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 Only one of them, and you got four. Any one of them can do it. (laughs) So, so what's the vote right now? Are we in a tie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Miller Miller won one. No, Miller won that. Miller won that. Yep. Miller won that round. Yep. Three to one. All right. So we got one round versus one round. All right. Cool. Yep, 1v1. 1v1. So, guys, (laughs) that round was amazing. But we got one more round. We got another round coming at you. We got more coming at you. So, next round is homage. Go ahead and let's see what those covers look like. Mm. Oh! (laughs) Here we go. Now the show's (laughs) good. Now the show got started. (laughs) Here we go. Oof. Miller, go. All right. All right, Miller. Gen 13, Janet Jackson, Super Bowl 36. <laughs> Y'all seen it. Y'all know about it. Homage to this. What a great cover. Rolling Stone, uh, 1993. Check it out. Homage to the Rolling Stones cover. Gen 13, Janet Jackson. Let's go. We'll do. All right. I'm going to have to raise you because you you just you could just take it to, to Rolling Stone. 
I'm taking you to preschool and elementary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking you to school, champ. I'm taking you to school. Where the wild things are. Morris and Dak, you read that book as a kid. You had this book as a kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you got it as a comic. All right. With the beast himself. You can't deny the greatness. Hmm. All right, let's take a look wow. at those real quick one more time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We, we mm-hmm. went from adult to children in one <laughs> round. <laughs> yeah. Comic lore, what do you say, man? That, that was the tough one. <laughs> wow, comic lore stuff, oh, guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the artistic of, 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 of the Hulk is really, really good. But the one book that really hits you in the face twice, right, is a Gen 13, so we're going to go with that one. All right. Brad, what do you say, man? Um, Gen 13, y'all know Janet Jackson <laughs> is one of my favorites, so I'm just going to go saying uh, Gen 13. <laughs> He, he, he's it. probably gonna want to go sniff the cover, uh, the pages. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, right. The cover. Can't even make it. <laughs> All right, Red. What do you say, man? Yeah, I love both those books. I love where the wild things are, uh, but there's just something about that Gen 13 cover that makes me keep looking at it. Oof. So, I don't know what yeah. that something is. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna go with Gen 13. What that something is. <laughs> uh, again. I don't think my my vote is necessary (laughs) at this point, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Actually, I'm gonna go with the wild things on this one. The the Janet Jackson homage, fire, incredible. I've been chasing that book. I actually don't own that book. Love that book. But the other one just, there's a little nostalgia to that one. So I'm gonna roll with that one just just for the nostalgia. I like the art on it as well. Uh, Although I will say looking at the two covers, really well done you could tell exactly what each cover is doing the homage for the gen the the gen 13 font that they chose to use which looks like the uh, rolling stones font amazing so really good choices guys and oh man y'all came out swinging on that one yeah Mm. absolutely y'all came out swinging on that one Uh, all right big mike take us to the next one bro well guys we're moving on to the next round but before we go to the next round, guys, jump in those comments. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you agree or disagree with the heroes, with the judges. Just share your opinion. Love to hear it. Now, we're moving on to the Kiss Couples covers. Let's see what you got, guys. Mm. Mm. Man. Wow, yeah, I came off swinging on that one, too. Came out with the yams. There we go. <laughs> Miller, what you got? Candy Orange Storm won the 1992, won the first uh, interracial kissing covers as well. Um, don't really see that if you look through Marvel books. Don't really see that. So interracial kissing, Forge Storm, X-Men, Uncanny. Enough said. Ooh. <clears throat> Let me let me just start with this controversy sells superman big barda sex tape big sleaze dark side telling her husband this this is this is just i mean if you had janet jackson to this this is the real story because it has it all <laughs> You open the first page and you're like, wow. <laughs> Incredible read. John Byrne art. Yeah. Enough said. Mm. All right. Let's take a look that's at tough. those covers. One more time. Look at that, guys. No, we, that have a, uh, we have some. Hey, you know what? We got a uh, Marvel versus DC at the moment. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, mm-hmm. Interracial couple having a moment. And uh, a sleaze bag messing with somebody else's wife. Wife, uh, I know. <laughs> no, my wife, crazy. <laughs> my, my wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. That's so, crazy. Hey, comic lord, what do you say, man? What's your vote going? All right, first let's talk about Forge because he's a, he's Native American. Yep. So, yeah, uh, they kind of drew him way too white on that cover, for my opinion. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but let's talk about Big Barda. That cover actually is fire. So if you read Mr. Miracle, which is a great freaking story, you know that Barda would absolutely do that. I don't think it's Superman wanting to kiss her as much as, as he is 
just succumbing to the fact that she's not letting go. So I'm gonna go with Superman and Big Barda over over Fortune Storm. Only because Storm doesn't end up with him. And I never liked him for, for her, so sorry. We're going off a cover. We're just going off a cover. I know, but, I, but I'm going out of the fact that, hey, you know what? That's not my storm. That's how I'm going for it. Oh, there, you, there you go. There you go. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, Brad, what do you say, brother? Yo, um, I got to get that to Woodley, man. That cover is hard. And the uh, the my wife with Superman, that kind of just really sold me. I'm not even going to lie to you. Oh, that was tough, man. That was tough. That was tough. Because right. that four right. storm, that, that was tough. That was tough. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, normally my boat would go to the X-Men book, um, hands down. But there's something about that Superman yeah, being accosted by whoever. I don't even know who that is because I don't read DC. But, yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, with Woodley. Yeah, you got to read this issue. This <laughs> it was pick. scandalous. Yeah, this, this scandalous. issue is scandalous. First page up, you're going to be like, wow. All right, so um, again, my vote is not necessary here, but I'm gonna no. give it to you anyway. I gotta go with DC on this one. Not a DC guy. I like the controversy on the cover itself. The my wife uh, on the cover, <laughs> uh, sleazy. I, I dig it. Definitely want to see what's going on in that book. So there goes my vote on that one. Uh, so where are we right now? How many uh, rounds has each individual won? That is, uh, each person has won two rounds each, guys. So. Oh, man. Villains went to Woodley. The team went to Miller. Mm -hmm. The homage cover went to Miller. And final round, Kiss Couples cover went to Woodley. Oh boy. So guess what? That takes what us. That, mean? that takes us to the sudden death color cover battle. <laughs> <laughs> this is the round you never want to make it to. I, I, it, Coming from uh, the person who, who's who's done this before and lost in this round, yeah. you want to avoid it as much as possible. So, uh, Guys, let's see what you got. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Once Miller. again, out of pull Eric Larson cover, the the black cover with the green neon green teeth the tongue the art on this cover is incredible with the reflection of spider-man in the eyes i mean this cover is hands down one of the best eric larson covers ever i mean mm. with the colors the black you don't see a lot of black covers with vibrant red green pink with the, the tongue and it's venom right there, i hear you on that one yeah okay okay all right okay. I, I respect that <clears throat> Mm. Green Lantern 49. Mm. Now this cover, this could have been an homage because it's football yeah. season and and I love you brother Miller cuz cuz you my boy. Cuz you know this that cover became real life with Tom Brady mimicking mm. the cover. Mm. It's football season. I had to throw that out for you just a little fun fact. All right. <laughs> But wow. Maurice Sendak, all green, everything, rings on rings on rings on rings on rings. You know about them tings. <laughs> this is it, my, my bro. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just I'm just coming for you today. This is this is this is it. All day. I don't know, I don't know though. Mm. And tough, I love man. some ASM. Because you know I'm, I'm you and I get down with ASM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This... Let's take a look at those covers real quick. Mm. Beautiful covers, man. W without a doubt, both of them, it, it, to me, must haves in the PC. But um, let's hear what the judges all got to say. Yeah, Comic Lore, what do you say, man? This was the easiest round. Way <laughs> too easy. Way too easy. And 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 it's it's so easy that I absolutely hate Venom. <laughs> oh, wow. But that ASM cover is by far the best color cover. So I'm gonna go with Miller on this one. Ooh, ooh, nice. Ooh, all okay. right. Black Supernova. Um, Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have to disagree with uh, Lord Pedro here <laughs> because the composition was amazing on the Spider-Man cover. 
as uh, uh, Daddy Issues would say, but the usage of the green, the way the cover is set off from that, that light lime green going into a darker green, and then the actual composition on top of the color, I got to go with the Green Lantern on there. Rings on rings on rings, man, and the green. And and listen, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm not a fan of just one solid color covers. I'll be totally honest with you. But that one jumped out. It was a great use of color. It was vintage. But the, the composition on uh, Real Deals was better. But overall color, I'm going to give it to Woodley on that one. Mm. All right. All right. Brent, what do you say, brother? Yeah. All right. Both covers are amazing. Um, the problem with me for the Spider-Man cover is I don't, there's not one specific color that just stands out to me. Um, yeah, I'm colorblind a little bit, so maybe that's why. Maybe I just don't see it. But the, the green, um, the green lantern definitely has some green on there. And uh, I'm going to go with that one. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Then I'm gonna make it easy for you, man, because I was gonna purposely vote for whoever so I can we can go into the tiebreaker and bring Mike in here. <gasps> oh, why? <laughs> yeah, put that put that little bit of uh stress over him, but <laughs> I'm not yeah. gonna do that. It is a color cover, man. As much as I dislike the fact that I lost this cover myself, this this particular category. Um I'm gonna have to go with the Green Lantern, man, without a doubt. The, I, 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 I'm going to actually repeat what Brad said. It's just the use of the one color. Um, it, it's it's a well done cover, man. So let me let me go ahead and show the cover real quick. So this is where we are right now. Mm. Amelia, I think uh, um, Woodley has deep pockets, and that's where you lost here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I was coming for him. I, I had bonus round ready for you. Boom. I had right. a negative space. LL Cool J homage. I had a Jim Lee, all pink, everything. Oh, stop trying to be extra. He hasn't even won a oh, yet. I, I, I had He's multiple. already jumping. Oh, I, I was coming out with four <laughs> weapons for this. Oh, so, yeah, wait, 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 wait. So, comic champ, who did you officially pick? I, I voted for the Green Lantern one. For, oh, yeah, oh all right, all right. Just check. I, I did, I did. Honestly, look, man, the, the, um, the other cover is amazing. I think it would have been a great villain cover because he technically was a villain back then. And isn't the amazing Spider-Man glow in the dark? No. Oh, no. Uh, I thought it was glow in the dark. All right, yeah. let's start rumors about it. Uh, it's a glow in the dark. <laughs> See if that gonna, gonna makes it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Top 10. <No. laughs> well, Mike, well, um, well, you know, before we, uh, you know, move any forward, uh, further, why don't we go ahead and take a look back at all the covers uh, for the for the the rounds for this battle so far uh we have the um the villain cover versus the villain covers uh <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and then we have the team up the team cover was great because we have a, a villain team versus a, a hero team and the villains came on top on this one uh then we have the homage cover we have uh, a little bit more of an adult cover versus a more uh children's cover if you will the kiss cover both almost identical perhaps a little bit um but uh one, one of them's a little bit more saucy than the other Thanks. and then the color cover and that's what we are right Ooh. now guys wow so we have a winner here our winner is Good battle the nil from salute salute and what do you man. get for winning absolutely nothing but bragging rights that yeah. is salute. all you guys <laughs> salute to both you gentlemen man um yeah. Whether this makes the cut or not, this was impromptu. So the way you guys were able to um, come and compete in such short notice, man. Um, yes, yes. Definitely. So with that being said, though, Mike, take us away, my brother. Well, guys, you just witnessed an epic season one, episode five cover battle between Real Deal and the Nilf Hunter. Guys, get in those comments. Let us know what your thoughts are. Also, please hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. And as always, we appreciate you and we'll see you out. Peace out.